There's a group of very talented teenagers making their mark in PDC darts right now, and it's also a fabulous time for Welsh darts. Louis Williams is a man who ticks both of those boxes. Where have you come from in terms of your darting journey? You're not somebody who's, who's come through the development tour system like uh, you know, Luke Humphreys or Dimitri or somebody like that. Yeah, I uh, played for Wales Youth when I was a bit younger. I was about 14, 15, so I was captain for them for two years as well. Um, but I was playing so bad at the time and I just, I just gave up darts for about six months and then I moved up to Liverpool with the family, uh, put a dartboard up in my room and then I just started knuckling down and started treating it as a bit of a job even before I got on the tour and uh, it's just gone good ever since. I saw you for the first time as an amateur at the UK Open and by then you were already practising with Nathan Asimov, picked up by his management team. What was that like, being, being a student at the time and also playing with a, a, one of the best dart players in the world? Yeah, it was really good. It did feel a bit surreal at the time, obviously, watching Nathan on TV and then my management company signed me. I seen Nathan there start practicing with them and started getting really pally pally, really good mates. And um, yeah, it was pretty easy because I was only in college two days a week anyway doing the barbering. So my tutor was very flexible. She was already having time off for the darts. And um, yeah, it was just so, it was so good practicing with Nathan at least three, four times a week. And I think it's really brought my game on a lot. What's it been like this first year on the tour? Because quite quickly, you started beating a lot of big names. Yeah, I suppose it was a bit crazy. I walked into the venue, seeing you like a, like some Michael Van Gerwens and that, and then ended up drawing him in the third round of it after beating Van der Berg and beating uh, Kim Ibrex. And I beat Van Gerwen 6-5. I was like, all right, maybe I do belong here type of thing, you know what I mean? And um, yeah, it's just gone amazing ever since. And I'm take, taking a lot of big scalps, like beating Adrian Lewis, beating Nathan Aspinall twice, Jose de Souza twice, and it's just going really well at the minute. Welsh Darts is in a heck of a place at the minute. The world number one world champion, Johnny Clayton, is, is tearing through TV tournaments. I mean, it's probably as good as it's been for, for years. If, if as good as it's ever been, mate. Yeah, 100%. It's, it's safe to say Darts in a uh, very, good, uh, very good Welsh space at the minute. And what about the, the Welsh connection? I mean, you've already nicked one legend's nickname in the Prince of Wales. Uh, I mean... Can, can you go and emulate something you know, that Richie Burnett's done, or Gezi, or Johnny? I'd, I'd love to do what Richie's done in the game, and um, I'm not going to say Nick, Nick the nickname, because uh, I did ask him, I did ask him, and he said, uh, he said to go ahead with him, really good mate, so Rich, he's a, he's a legend in the game, so uh, yeah, just to, uh, just to do what he's done in the game, I'll definitely take that 100%, so as long as I can live up to the nickname, um, yeah, I'll take that. What if he gets back on the tour, you have to give it him back? Uh, through us a conversation that we'll have when it comes to it, I think. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to yeah, it. Good definitely. luck this weekend. Top man, cheers, Dan. Nice one.